Now, here's a warning. Our next conjurer will be asking you for money. Now, I don't want to influence you, but remember that this poor Romani is the same trickster who left me handcuffed in a trunk a short while ago. He's worked the Hollywood Bowl with the likes of Johnny Cash, Bob Hope and Stevie Wonder. Now, here he is with no cash, no hope, and it's no wonder I give you the corporate comic, Paul Romani. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, don't stop. Okay, they say that the uh, hand is quicker than the eye, and it's true, and I'm here to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. Let me see, has someone got some money on them? Anything at all? Anyone with some money? Have you got some, sir, uh, have you got some money on you? Oh, you've got a lot of money on you. Excellent, what have you got there? That's a $20 note, very good. Actually, would you hold on to it, please? I don't really, I'm gonna ask you, sorry, what was your name? Uh, Ross. Can I call you Ah? You can call me Ah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, Ross, good memory. Ross, would you please take the pen, write your name now, very big letters, Ross, right across the front of it, all the way across. That's R, <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Uh, o, <laughs> e S, double S there, Ross. Excellent. Very good, thank you. Visa card number underneath, expiry date. No, 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 I'm just teasing, Ross. Thank you, I'll take back the pen. Oh, it's a felt pen, I know, I just felt it. Now, Ross, what I'm gonna ask you to do, uh, would you please pass me the money? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, comedy part of the show. <laughs> so here's what I'm, so I'm going to do is fold it up like this, Ross. And, uh, well, actually, yeah, we'll fold it up like this. Like this. And, uh, hello, sir, what is your name? Uh, Bert. Sorry? Bert. Bert. Bert, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bert, it's nice to meet you. Bert, I'm going to ask you just to hold on to that if you would, please, up there. That's Ross's $20 note. Uh, Bert, if your name was John, you would have won the television, so I'm sorry about that. Not a good start. Never mind. You might get the $20 note. I should say, before anything goes any further, that if anything should happen to Ross's $20 note, which is right there, you get to win this can of baked beets. <laughs> Boy, am I in a good mood. Would you please hold on to that? Thank you very much. I don't want to touch it from now on. I'm going to take uh, Ross's $20 note, place it in the envelope, and just, uh, hmm, vanilla. Seal it up like this. And just hold on to that for me, if you would, please. I have something else. That's perfect. I have a lighter, and uh, it's uh, right here. In fact, uh, I'll take that. Would you please take the lighter and ignite the envelope? Just ignite it right at the bottom there, because I don't want to take responsibility for this. If anything should happen to uh, the $20 note, <laughs> you've got to owe him some money. Ladies and gentlemen, Ross's $20 note. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't happened before. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, Ross, your $20 note. They say that money burns. I don't believe that, Ross. I'm going to reach in here and pull out your 20 your $10 <laughs> dollar note. Don't worry, Ross, I'm a professional. Your $20 note. Um, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> right, okay. Someone got another 20? Um, no, seriously, please, some more money. Um, have someone got some money? Have you got, uh, have, have, you, have you got some money? Have you got a wallet? You got a bag down there, so could I please borrow some money if you've got, just easy if you, um, I'm sorry about that, but that's magic. That can of baked beans is looking pretty hot. <laughs> like the money. Oh, you've got a 10, okay. Would you please do the same and just write your name on that? What is your name? Vanessa. Good memory, Vanessa, if you would, please. Just write your name. Phone number? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's decent. Cheap guy, you know what I mean? Excellent. This is Vanessa's $20 note, ladies and gentlemen. I shall roll up my sleeves. Check it out. This is really cool. I'll take back the pen. Thank you. Watch your $20 note. Your $10 note. All I do is fold it up. You'll like this, Ross. Because your 20, your 10, turns into Ross's $20 note. <laughs> Sorry, what was your name again? Vanessa. Vanessa's are looking a little bit worried. Not to worry, because you get the can of baked beans. Hey! <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now, I haven't come near that can of baked beans, have I? You've been holding on to the whole time. Um, we haven't prearranged anything? No. Nope. And I, that's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please pass that can of baked beans along to Vanessa? Vanessa, this is my opener. Would you please open the can of baked beans? Actually, take the can, shake it up and down. Can you hear something inside? I haven't touched it, have I? Take that, open it up, please, if you would. Take your time and hurry. Oh, now they laugh. <laughs> no. I'm going to give you a running commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Vanessa is opening the can. And open it all the way. I don't want to come near it. I don't want to touch it. Vanessa, would you please, uh, that's it. Push it down, take it off. Don't hurt your finger. Can you, can you see anything inside? Yes. You can. Take it out. Take it right out. 
unfolded. It looks like some money inside the sealed can. Is that your $10 note with your initials on it, your signature? Yes. Another miracle! <laughs> oh, oh, look, when they said, Mark, it's a magic show,